Hey guys, welcome back. Cypher over 30 here, and I'm here to actually do auto crafting this time. Because last time I spent all my time doing this ore processing stuff, and I never even got to auto crafting. So, uh, number one, I left the world running for a bit, and uh, wow, that's a lot of cobblestone. Uh, I almost have an extra dimensional barrel filled with cobble. And soon we're going to get to see the little system I built back here, the automatic disposal, start working. So that will be pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, you know, we're doing pretty good. Look at all that iron, all copper, tin, gold. Pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, let's do some auto crafting. And uh, if you haven't guessed yet, you might want an auto crafting table to do some auto crafting. Now, I will actually not just do normal auto crafting here. I'm going to show you some fancier stuff you can do with logistics pipes. But a main pipe you'll want is the crafting logistics pipes. Actually, why don't I just search up pipe? So I can get all sorts of things. Pipe. Cool. So, uh... Let's see, I need, like... Just some normal ones, too. Request, provider, crafting, and satellite. Those are another nice ones I'll want. And, of course, just my normal old stone pipes to transfer stuff when I don't want all logistic. So, uh... Yeah, I'll need to make a logistic bank now. And I think I'll do it right over here, because you see I'm trying to expand into the warehouse. And what I'm going to do here is because I already have logistics pipes over here, I think I'll add the auto crafting network right about here. Cool. And I'm going to make a wall of auto crafting tables, which the logistics pipes will interact with. Remember, shift does not open the inventory and still places the block. So that should be good enough to start with. Now I'll just want to grab myself a little bit of the piping and just bring it over here. So actually, I could do it on the back if I wanted to, but I think I'll do it right here. And now, I should cover the front with crafting logistics pipes. And uh, it's a cool color scheme. That looks actually really cool. There we go. And now from the back is where I'll do the work. So on the back, first we need to put the recipe. So uh, we put recipes for basically anything. And I'll start basically with the basic, basically with the basic, basic, most basic recipe in the entire world. Oak logs to oak wood. And then you just hit the import thing. And it, now the craft, now this logistics system knows that if it gives this pipe one piece of wood and uh for it, one piece of wood will get four planks back. And I don't know what... Whoa, you can actually open the table from here? So, uh, yeah, and you can import, and I'm not sure what priority is, but, you know, it's priority. And, uh, yes, you can import stuff. Now over here, uh, let's see, we will... We'll, let's grab some wooden planks and just see what we can make with them. Well, uh, why don't we make some sticks? Those might be nice to have. Sticks, right? Pretty handy. And, uh, do we import? Oh, cool, we can actually just do that. So now, that's what craft sticks. Um, with sticks, which we might want to grab, what else can we make of sticks? Um, so you see, you just kind of go along and put recipes in here and teach the logistics system about the recipes. And now, import? Cool. Pretty sure you can just constantly do this. Um, now, of course, I did set up this stuff over here for a reason. And that's to make some more advanced things than gears, sticks, and normal wood. But now you'll notice it will take the oak log, it will make wood. It will take those wood, make sticks, and use sticks to make a gear. So you see it can go in steps like that. So yeah, we're slowly just going to fill up the table. And what I'm doing here is you're wondering why I'm making gears. It's, uh, it's for this reason. If I make this. What do you know? I get a crafting table. Import. And if I go over here and I grab myself four... four wait, what? That's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, gears, and put them around a crafting bench. I get the auto-crafting bench, and that's the normal recipe. So now I can auto-craft auto-crafting. And that's quite helpful if you're doing this in survival, but hey, I did it anyways. Cool. 
And now, I will show you the complexity of what you can do. So, I'm going to grab myself a requesting tool. Uh, what was it? It was like the remote order. Remote order. Oh, you can dye them now. Cool. I'll just stick with the normal one. And uh, basically what you can do is you can click on any logistic pipe. I'll just put one down here. And you can access the network. So number one, you can order stuff that's in your network. In the barrels. So you'll see I have 65k worth of cobble. Have I filled up the entire thing now? Yeah, look at that. Full of cobblestone. Extra dimensional. Now if I go back here. Yeah. Wait, what? Did I just see cobble get picked up? Oh, no, that's just a different piece of cobble. But yeah, see this obsidian pipe will pick up cobblestone? No, just eat it up. It's just destroying my cobblestone for me. Because, hey, once you have that much 65k worth of cobblestone, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need any more for a long time. And if I do, well, my quarry's still there. Anyways, so you can order stuff from the barrels. But you know some, and I'll tell you how much. But you'll know some like this and this and this and this. All the ones I put in the auto crafting benches, working tables, have a zero next to them. And that means zero of them exist in the system, but you can still request it. So let's say I want a piece of cobblestone. Uh, let's say I want a piece of. Let's say I want an apple. I just hit request. And I hit OK. And it just requests an apple. And now uh, you'll see the apple. You saw it zipping through the system. Bink. Apple. Kapow. Awesome. I can eat the apple if I was in survival, la da 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 Cool, apple. Now, let's watch this crafting system in progress. Watch this. So we're going to get a ton of oak logs coming, and then just do mass amounts of fast crafting here. Did you see that? It took the resources, it made sticks, it made planks, it made gears, and I got my table. Awesome. And now, well, if I was in survival, I could use it. But I'm not going to. So, that is the basis of auto-crafting, with auto-crafting tables. But let's say, uh, wait a second, I have a furnace here. What do I do with that? And, uh, well, let's grab myself a furnace. Now, I'm debating whether I should, I think I'll do induction furnaces. So, uh, what I'm going to do here... See, I'm just thinking over what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. So, over here we have the power, and I think I'll just hook it up to this power net right here. And these will be the auto-crafting ones, instead of normal ones. And I'm going to branch off a little bit of logistic off here. And, uh, hmm. see, this is where it gets kind of tricky how to work this. Because there, think about it, I have this furnace, and yes, I can just input stuff in it, but that's one pipe per furnace, and that's that's not quite good. So, uh, I do want to see one thing. What do these upgraded crafting pipes do? Can you put more crafting recipes in one pipe? Because that, that would be awesome. To me, it looks like the exact same pipe. It probably does it just faster. That's too bad, but, uh, eh, it's not that bad. So, you know, so if I put down the crafting pipe, I can manually input it. So let's uh, let's do a very simple recipe and do iron into refined iron. So now I can do industrial craft stuff, iron to refined iron. So I just put the iron as the input, refined iron as the output. And uh, I'm pretty sure this would work. So if I go over here and request my piece of refined iron. Ooh, I'm missing iron ingot. What do you mean? Iron ingot. Ooh, iron ingot. Huh? What's wrong? Request. You're missing what? Hey, actually none of my ingots are showing up on this. Hmm. I smell fishy business. Let me go back here and hit this with a wrench. Extractor mark three. Extract. Wait. Extractor? I don't want an extractor, I want a provider. How did I not notice that? Yikes! How how many have I done these for? Okay, provider, provider. Okay, what about you? You have an extractor, so... That's not good. I'm gonna go fix this. There we go, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Yes! 
So now you can see I have the iron on my request thing, and now if I click refined iron, yay, request successful. I'll take a piece of iron, I'll whiz it along here, drop it in this, and then what? Wait, no heat. Oh, of course, I didn't put any levers down, did I? Hmm, that might be a problem. Uh, let me grab a lever then. Forgot. Lever. And just plop it down in the center one. And that should power all of them. Sweet. So once this thing is finally cooked up, realize there's refined iron, and whiz it back right over to me. Wait, what? Did I already get it? Oh yeah, I already got it. Sorry. And that must have been iron that was cooking up. Normal iron. So, uh, also using this request thing, you can choose how much. So if, let's say, I want, I can get two iron, I can get twelve, and I can get an extra stack. So that must, that numbers the stack, that numbers how much. Single item. So I'll grab myself ten pieces. And, uh, yeah. And these turn pages in case you have multiple. This is a search bar, so you can didn't mean to do that. And yeah, I'll request 10 uh, refined iron, and let's see when it comes. Cool. So you notice a bunch of iron will start whizzing through the pipes. And dropping in here. Kapow. And I'll start cooking up. And one by one, that will come over here and drop out. Awesome. That's so cool. And I will take out all these extractor modules. Not sure how I got that mixed up. I even found an item sink on the coal. I'm not sure how that ever worked. Not a polymorphic, just a regular old item sink. And now you'll notice I'm getting refined iron. So when this induction furnace, of course, speeds up to its 100% heat, this thing will be awesome. Now, the question remains, how do I do multiple? Hmm. That is a problem. And, uh, well, I'm not quite sure, actually. I think I might just have to do one recipe per induction furnace, and that will get kind of annoying. So I'm trying to think of a way to avoid that. Oh, these are satellite pipes, by the way, and I'll, I'm going into those right after this. So I'll set up refined iron is a good one. Uh, what's some other smelting? Probably glass. Sand and glass. That's a very, very common thing. Now, of course, now that I've shown you the basics, it's not that, you know, interesting to watch me uh, put more and more recipes into these things, so I'll do that by myself. But uh, I'm showing you how to work auto crafting and logistics pipes. So, hmm, what's another nice smeltable? Uh, smeltable, smeltable, smeltable. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see, what do I have over here and what needs to be smelted? I could do smooth stone. I else could also do... I don't know. I really don't know. I think I'll just do smooth stone from cobblestone. That's used in some recipes, isn't it? So, stone... Oh, I'm on the last page, that's why. Stone and cobblestone, awesome. And uh, remember, input cobblestone, output smooth stone. As simple as that. And can you open... Whoa, you can... Oh, that's pr that's that's cool. Of course, import won't do anything, because, well, you can't quite import from this. Cool. So, uh, yeah. That's how that works. Now, there's a slight problem with this. I'm only getting four. And if you, uh, if you know thermal expansion, there's something called the sawmill. And this sawmill will produce more than normal. Um, it will give you, in fact, how much? I think it gives you six. Uh, wood for one wooden plant, uh, wooden log, and gives you an extra piece of sawdust which you can use to make charcoal. Which I don't know. I guess it's kind of nice. Here is it is sawdust recipe. You'll notice it's random chance uh, chance when you use the sawmill, and uh, its uses are I think just just charcoal, isn't it? Yeah, you can make compressed sawdust, which then you burn in a furnace. Or yeah, burn in a furnace and you get charcoal. So second way to make charcoal, kind of nice, nice, but uh, not too useful. But basically, what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to times my wood output by 1.5, doing just this little thing. So uh, to do that, 
I'm going to have to grab a little strand of logistic pipe. And I'll probably do it, like, I could do it right in here. No, actually, that's before it inputs here, so I'll do it, like, in here. Cool. Uh, right here, I'll have a sawmill. And a crafting logistics pipe. Now, this is where the satellite logistics pipe come in, because the logistic pipe needs to see the item in the inventory to pull it out. And because these things automatically output, and that's quite handy for large mass production, I'm going to use it, but in a different way than you, what you thought. So what I'm going to do is set all the outputs, except for the one on the top, to blue, and the one on the side here, to orange. Cool. Uh, oh. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. Just a minute. Okay, I thought about it for a bit, and I realized. So what uh, the problem with the system is that, uh, well, in the recipe, I'm turning logs into planks. But if you notice in the interface of the logistic crafting pipe, there is no second output. And remember, this has one input and two outputs. So to counteract that problem, because sawdust is kind of an extra bonus thing, I'm just going to have it automatically send it to the system and not be in the crafting recipe. And for that, I'll need satellite pipes. Basically, what I'm going to say is to craft up a piece of uh, uh, wood from a wooden log, put it in the chest. But if you're a special item, give it to the satellite pipe. So you can choose a satellite ID, and I'll just use one, nice and simple. And... Uh, over here, you can notice this little satellite thing, and if I turn it on, it will only let me choose satellites that are on the same network. So if I turn the satellite to two, you'll know suddenly I, I can only choose two. Cool. So I'll keep it at one. Now, of course, I'll want to hook it up to my main system so that it's getting the logistic power and all the nice stuff. Cool. It's all hooked up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to input wood and get out the planks. So, input wood, output planks. Seems normal, but wait, it's inputting in the chest. Now remember, the output is going to get the wood from the chest, but it's not necessarily going to want to put the wood in the chest. So we can actually choose to put the wood in the satellite instead, which will be set to 1. So that means it will come, the wood will come here, and then realize, oh wait, I should go to the satellite pipe, and drop it in the sawmill. Sawmill processes it, dumps it in the chest, where the logistic pipe can take it away. And on this side, I'm going to have this automatically output into, well, actually, hmm. Oh, you know what I could do? This would be really snazzy. If I grab myself an ender chest, well, what do you know, and uh, change this frequency, uh, not frequency, but the output here, yellow, remember you can separate these, to this side. And then I just place down the ender chest, and all sawdust created will just head right back to the ender chest way over there. Over there. Awesome. So, well, that looks pretty good. So let's try crafting up some wood. So if I grab my uh, remote order and order myself a piece of, let's grab myself a little bit, 10. Remember, it will, even though it, it can make them instead of 6. Ooh, I just realized a problem. So notice it put it in the sawmill. Cool. Wait. I didn't... I forgot to do something very drastic, and yet it fixed it for me somehow. It knew that I was going to only get... See, the output really should be six wooden planks, right? I forgot to set it as that. Somehow it knew to only give me... I don't know. Awesome. Logistic pipes are crazy. I, uh, that may be a new feature. That may just have been a glitch that happened to work in my favor. But whatever it is, I'll take it. So, it dumped the two wood it needed in the sawmill, and I forgot to connect it up to power probably a problem. Just hook it up, and you'll notice it's sawing. So when it saws, it will send the wood in this chest, and that will get zoomed along, and it will put the sawdust in the ender chest. Awesome. And, uh... Yeah, so I don't need this. But it will... It should put ten wood over here. So remember, I have 54 in my inventory right now. When I lean down, I should get 64. What do you know? 64 wood. Sweet. So, 
yeah, now this thing is far better with wood production, and I did forget to shut down this side right here, which probably wasn't a good good idea for, to forget that. Remember, I, should, I also have to take it out of here. I'll have to replace it with a new recipe, which will be um, piston. Piston's a nice one. So the piston, ooh, I don't actually need to grab a piston, do I? We have iron, we have wood, we have cobble, and we have redstone. Nice and fancy, because there's all sorts of ingredients in it, but it's a very basic recipe. It's well needed all over the place, and it uses all of the natural ingredients that we happen to have, so it's a great recipe to do. Piston, sweet, and import. So now I'll choose what it needs and have the piston there. So now I can request a piston from, uh, not that, but where's my... <gasps> I lost my remote order. I'll have to get a new one. This time I'll do have a nice green one. Cool. And now, not only can I order wood, let's grab a stack. Awesome. So it was successful. And you'll notice it will send a bunch of wood over here, dump it in the sawmill, and it will start chewing it up. Remember, that wood will head over here and dump out on the ground next to me. Look at that. And this is how awesome logistic pipe auto crafting is. And now you'll also notice that um, if there was any extra ever, I just throw away all the wood. I don't need this much wood. Oh god, it's just gonna keep on coming, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Never mind. Now remember in that first recipe we're gonna ask for ten wood, but this thing makes it in sets of six. Well, the extra wood would have gone in this chest. So this time let's order. Let's just order a piece of single piece of wood. Single piece of wood. Actually, why don't we make a piston? Remember, pistons use three wood, but I only want one piston, so where will that extra three wood go? Remember, I do have a default route chest over there. That might do something. So, first of all, we will grab all the ingredients and craft it up for me all nice and snazzy. Grabbing the wood. Piston. Done. But that extra wood is going to go way down here. All the way down here and find its way to this chest. Whoa! It's already here. Cool. Extra wood. Actually, wait, that doesn't add up. There's, where's the extra piece? Hmm. There should be three. Okay. That's probably just a glitch. Never mind. Uh, sawdust number one. I did forget to do this, and I need to do this. Give it its own barrel. Uh, so it still isn't... Okay, so somehow a magic piece of wood disappeared on me. Or I might have said the piston recipe wrong. Three wood. Is it still in here for some reason? I don't know. Yikes, guys. The piece of single piece of wood disappeared on me. Oh! Okay. So that two would actually from a previous thing. The previous time where I ordered ten. And the three just took a while getting here. There you go. That adds up. The math all works out. Anyway. So you'll notice it went through that process. It made me a piston, but it put the extra wood in this chest, and that's pretty fine and dandy. Now remember, it didn't use the wood in this chest for the recipe of the piston. That's because this is a basic logistic pipe, and I might want to fix that by making this thing a uh, logistic chassis. Chassis, I don't know how to say it. I think chassis, right? So let's make it a nice chassis pipe and give it some nice modules. Uh, so for basic functionality, we'll want an item sync module. Now we'll also want um, a provider module. Thomic aspect, mod based, cool. They're all adding all sorts of awesome stuff. But I will just want a simple old provider module. And this thing will let it, well, provide. Because let's say I have, I made a piston, and there's three wood in this chest, because I used three there. The next time I make a piston, it will go and it will waste another piece of wood and dump three in this chest. The next time I make a piston, it will waste another log, a whole log, and still only dump three, and I'll dump three in the chest and never look back at those three. So this chest will eventually be filled with just re recipes that, you know, weren't fully fulfilled, and because stuff comes in different quantities, just extra stuff in this chest that really doesn't need to be there that could be used in crafting. So, I'm going to provide it, and the smart thing about logistics pipes is they will choose a provider over a crafting recipe. So, that's what that, I think that's what that whole, uh, if I go back to the 
the pipe. That's what the whole priority thing is. If I set the priority to higher, I think it will. It might even choose it over this. But so far, crafting is probably the lowest. So if I just quickly replace it, there we go. Stuff's still working. But I will want to set this as number one, the default route. Cool. And number two, something to provide from. So now, let's say I there's happens to be oh well, this this extra wood or these extra sticks from crafting happen to end up in that chest. Now if I go over to pull some sticks that I need, it will, oh, well you can just take these sticks from the gear. So if I choose this gear here, okay, it will take it from those sticks instead of making new ones. Because, hey, why waste sticks when you already have them made? And, bazinga, we got a gear. Sweet. I love how fast that is. Love logistic pipes. Yeah, so that's the basic of auto crafting, and uh, you can go really far with this. So, yeah, look at this. I I really like this this tech feel the warehouse has, and remember the whole warehouse will eventually become this sort of area right here. Whoosh, disappeared in the mist. So I hope to fill the entire warehouse with all sorts of crazy sorting logistic systems like this one right here. And I have a big build planned, probably for this corner right here, next episode. I'll give you a hint. HV Solars, Logistic Crafting, and UU you, you Matter. Have fun thinking about it. Uh... Yeah, so anyway guys, this is Hypernova30, hope you enjoyed the episode, I think it might be a little bit short, but I can't really view the video time right now while I'm recording, uh, so yeah, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time, bye. Wait, I realized I missed something very important, fertilizer, and I think, what? Well, remember this little box down here that has fertilizer for me? Well, eventually that's going to run out. And because I've just been hacking it in so far, it's not very self-sustaining. Luckily, fertilizer does have a recipe. Fertilizer is made from appetite and sand. Ooh, what's this? Concentrated compound. Never even heard of that. Must be something new they added. I don't know how to get it, but cool. Anyways, it does have a crafting recipe, which includes sand and appetite, both of which are mineral, and I can probably get a fair amount of. That was weird. Did I just get a single piece of sand the moment I said the word sand? Pretty weird. Pretty cool, too. Um, now, sand also has a recipe, so I might want to even give sand the recipe in case I missed it out. Sand is made by uh, taking a macerator or a pulverizer and pulverizing... Up. In fact, I might just do that right now. Um, right. So, if I grab some... App First, I'll just do appetite. Appetite. Cool. And sand. So, oops, didn't need to give myself infinite sand. Just normal sand will do. And uh, if I go over here to my auto-crafting thing, I've been filling it out. Uh, and let's open up this table here. And remember, sand... And I only want one. Don't need 30 and appetite in the middle. Fertilizer. Awesome. Import it. So now, it knows how to make fertilizer, and now I actually can, can take this... Hmm, how do I get it out of the barrel? I might need to get out of creative mode for that. That's how you officially get stuff out of the barrel. Uh, turn back on creative plus. Uh, ooh, actually, I want to get rid of this stuff too. And fill this with appetite instead. So this is where I'm going to store my appetite instead of fertilizer. I can just keep fertilizer in this chest. That's the excess that I have so far. But soon we're going to start needing to craft it. And uh, you will use that and the sand I have to create it using auto crafting. And that will supply my uh, whatever these things are called fermenters. So now, once it finishes draining all the fertilizer from here, it will start using that. Awesome. Now, sand also is a recipe, and that's cobble uh, being pulverized. I'm pretty sure pulverized, can't you? Can't you do pulverized, or it doesn't have to be macerated? I've never tried with pulverizer. Let me see. Yep. Ooh, and you have a 10% chance to get gravel. Not sure I want that. Do I want gravel? Eh. Extra resources never hurt anyone, right? Well, maybe, but whatever. 
Ooh, but it is harder to automate that. So I'll just take a macerator then. Rotary macerators are also faster. So, uh, I can just hook that up. Whoa. Okay. So, uh, evidently, rotary macerators are, uh, not things you want to put into a higher voltage line. Uh, let's grab another. This time grab myself probably a transformer. Or you know what I could do? I could, uh, give it some of those transformer upgrades. So, uh, if I just break this cable right here just while I place it down, transformer upgrades, cool, and place the cable back down. So now it works. Awesome. And, uh, in fact, there's a bunch of logistic lines, but this one's closer. Look at that. In fact, that's pretty cool how close they are. Anyway, uh, this right here, and grab myself the auto crafting thing. Crafting logistic pipe. And, uh, I need to input cobble, and I get out sand. Cool. Very, very simple. And just to make sure that recipe exists, macerator, cobble to sand. Ooh, you can also do sandstone, didn't know that. Anyway, that should make sand have a recipe now. And uh, if I do put cobble in the top, which is there, I'll start... Ooh, I need to give it a lever, don't I? Yep. Awesome. And, of course, it needs to build up its speed. This time, speed instead of heat, but they all the advanced machines kind of work the same way of heat. Speed. Something it needs to build up, and that, that's how fast the machine runs at. Now, I'm not sure... Does this second slot work? It doesn't matter. I'll probably never use it. Anyway, that looks good. So now I can actually uh, order up sand. And another thing to show you with this is uh, you can choose from both to only things that you can... These are stuff you can craft. This is stuff. It's supplies, not crafts, and this is both. Now, I'm not sure what this is. This refreshes the page. So you notice I'm getting aluminum right now down there. Uh, content, I'm not sure what that does. I'm not sure what pop-up does either. I think that's the thing that says it was successful. But I like to keep it at both so I can see everything. Awesome. This is looking pretty complex and technical. I love it. And hopefully, eventually, the whole warehouse will start looking like this. And uh, my, my whole goal of the series is kind of to be able to create such a self-sustaining workshop that I can switch back to survival and live comfortably and still be able to create using my auto-crafting machines and all the sorts of mining fancy stuff I have so I don't even need to hack anymore at that point. You'll see all sorts of stuff is just automatically going on. I love it. Anyway, guys, this was Hypernova30. Hope you enjoyed the episode. For real this time, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. For real.